Hi, everyone. This week, I'm sharing a tip or two when using the Draw app on Canva. My name is Lynette Chandler. Let's get started. You might have noticed a little tool over here called Draw. It used to be you have to install a Canva app for this, but this is no longer necessary. When you click to open this, a new site window will appear with a few drawing tools. There is a marker, a pen, a highlighter, an eraser, and an arrow tool that's really a move tool. Below that, you have a color palette and also the drawing settings, which will allow you to adjust the weight and transparency of the drawing tool that you have chosen to use. Once you select a tool, you can begin to draw on a canvas here using your mouse. Of course, that is not an ideal option because the mouse control is really awful. That's why you quickly learn that this tool is best used if you have a drawing tablet. If you don't have one, see the links below for one my daughter recommends is this tool right here. She uses it a lot and loves it, but I don't because I have an iPad. If you do have an iPad, the draw tool works nicely. When using the Canva app on the iPad, you don't need an Apple Pencil, but the pencil does give you the best control. Here are a few basics to know about the draw tool. First, when a tool is selected, all you can do is draw or highlight or erase. To move what you've drawn, you have to select the arrow tool or you can just deselect the tool that you're using and then you can highlight everything like you normally do in Canva. Another way to move and reposition what you've drawn is by clicking out of the draw tool to any other tool, and then each object here will be able to be moved and change colors and do whatever you want, like your normal element. Here's the nice thing about using the draw tool. Sometimes you want to have something that's just right to highlight something. For example, this, I change the color and I have to move this around, but it just doesn't quite work well for what I want it to do. So instead, I can use the draw tool. I might want to change the color to something that I like on my brand colors, and then I can just draw that. The downside to these tools is there is no fill tool, meaning I can't fill the boxes or even the circles with a color. Hopefully they'll add that feature really soon. Here's a little tip for you when using the draw tool. Whether you're drawing with the mouse or a tablet, the lines can get pretty shaky, like you see over here. To draw a straight line, what you need to do is to draw it like you normally would and then hold it and automatically it'll turn into a straight line. The same works with rectangles or squares. Just draw your square or your rectangle and hold it and it will turn into a square or a rectangle with straight lines. And the same goes with circles. This is probably going to end up an oval. And there you go. Here's the nice thing about the things that you just created, that you can actually resize. And even your straight lines, you can change them and even connect them to, every, to other shapes that you've drawn just like that. That's it from me this time around. Listen, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a like so others can find it too. And while you're at it, click the subscribe button too so you can be notified of new videos just like this. We appreciate your help so much. Thanks, and I'll see you later.